Welcome, today we're gonna to talk about iPadOS 16 and Stage Manager and how I think that it's a really good improvement without losing some of the monotasking that I have loved in the iPad. If you've never heard me talk about that, there'll be a link up above and in the description about iPad monotasking and why I think it is one of the best ways to use a computer uh, as opposed to macOS or any traditional operating system. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, get my courses included, take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education, or if you're on Skillshare already, courses below. Buckle up, let's talk about Stage Manager. So first off, my physical setup. I actually steal one of my monitors from a Mac OS setup because I don't currently have a third monitor. After 10 years of service, my original fancy monitor at 21 inches kind of gave up the goat. <laughs> so I don't have one. Um, and this is the only one I have. Eventually, I will actually set up a proper iPad station behind me with my Visa mount and everything, but I haven't really been using it. I've been just sitting here and working on Stage Manager, stealing monitor from Mac OS. And that has been great. I use an LG, what is it, the UL27 something. I'll put an actual link to it in the description and in a review, which you'll see up above. And it's great. The text is clear. I just like it, really. Like, I'm very happy with Stage Manager and how it sort of how it works. Uh, I'm very happy with Stage Manager overall and the promise that it has for bringing better functionality to my iPad. For keyboards, I'm currently just using the Magic Keyboard because that's what works in the setup I have. I will say, will set up a proper station and use one of my uh, other mechanical keyboards you can see over my shoulder. Now, it's also important to recognize now what Stage Manager is not. It is not a Mac OS, you know, window management system. It is simply a way of extending iPad functionality with some of the features that you'd see in uh, Mac OS or in an operating system with overlapping windows. For settings, I am using more space, which gives me more space on iPadOS in general. I like that. Um, even on my iPad, on the regular setup with split screen, I use more space because you just have more space and can see more. I do not use Stage Manager on my iPad screen, though. I find that it just wastes way too much space for me. So I use my iPad in standard mode and I use Mac OS, the second screen, uh, not Mac OS. I use the second screen in the Stage Manager mode because that's the only way you can use it and it is excellent. Let's talk about a few workflows I have. My accounting slash email workflow. For that, I would have Spark up. I would have Solver off in one corner for the you know numbers US to Canadian conversion for my accounting. I would have Things 3 open as well below that so I can take any tasks. And then on my iPad screen, I would have Numbers where I actually enter in the data from different you know bills, I expenses I have. That is my accounting workflow. And this is actually far better than when I have, was able to work out on Mac OS even. Even with multiple monitors, I always found that I didn't couldn't see everything I wanted to see, right? I couldn't see Solver very well at the same time as seeing my email, at the same time as having tasks. I actually find this workflow to be very, very good and I can actually enter things better. On previous on iPadOS, I'd have to like have split screens and slide overs and swipe things back and forth to do it. It just was not. Not great. Now I can see everything I want in one shot and just work through my accounting quickly. Another setup I have is my note-taking setup. I use this to do my PKM newsletter, which you can sign at curtismichael.ca slash PKM dash weekly, um, or to you know take notes on any type of research, to watch videos, take notes on that, and to do any of my uh, kind of writing as well. So in that instance, I have uh, YouTube or Unread or DevonThink and Safari usually open up on my main monitor. I have Obsidian open up on my iPad screen. Previously, I'd have YouTube on one side and my split screen, I'd have uh, Obsidian. And that just felt like YouTube videos were never really big enough. Uh, and Obsidian was plenty big. But when I used the one third, two thirds split, then I would find the YouTube video was the right size. But Obsidian was not. It was just way too small to really feel like I could work in it and write well. This is much better where I have Obsidian full screen on my iPad and I have YouTube up, uh, you know, or Devon Think up in the main screen to read. I'd love to have Obsidian up in the secondary screen as well, up in my external monitor, but currently there's a bug with, you know, the, how the keyboard shows and Obsidian loses about half its vertical space because it tries to show a software keyboard that doesn't actually show up. So you can't use it that way. But ultimately, I'm very happy with this note workflow as well. Now, Stage Manager is not all daisies and roses and wonderfulness because there are some issues and we'll admit it's a beta. So there's just bugs in it. It crashes sometimes, YouTube especially, although YouTube has never been a stellar iPad OS app. It's passable. That's where they end it. Google hasn't put much effort into it. But there are a few things just in the workflows that aren't great. Number one is the building stages or, you know, building your windows is just too much work. It's hard. So even like, say, creating a secondary window in Things 3 and then getting it into all the rest of the windows and everything, it's just a lot of work. I have to use Things Command to create a new window, 
and then I can put that window like in a separate stage, and then I can bring it into the one I want. It's just way too much work to do this. I'd love to see a lot more workflows around being able to, you know, spawn at the secondary windows of applications and move them into your stages. Now, the other problem here is that you can't pin a set of apps to a stage, to an area. So I can't say I want these apps to always stay together. They just break apart sometimes. So a good example of that is when I say I'm in unread and I try to open a link in Safari because I want to read it in Safari because it just displays better there. Often happens with newsletters. What generally happens is Safari drops down onto my iPad screen and I have to rebuild all the apps that were together in my consumption area. So instead I would have to copy the link and then paste it into Safari just not a good workflow. Like it should, Safari was already open on the screen. Safari should just open with the link. I shouldn't have to like rebuild things or do stuff. That's a pain in the butt. Another issue is finding all the keyboard commands. What happens is if you, you, you know, you're on an app and you hold command to see the keyboard commands, what you see is the keyboard commands for the app. You don't see the keyboard commands for stage manager, unfortunately. I have found if I swipe up and then, you know, I've kind of minimized the app a bit and then I hold command, then I can see them, but I don't see all of them. Like command F, not there. I don't know where it is. It just doesn't show up for me. Command F should be minimizing or zooming your window, uh, sorry, zooming and unzooming your window. So maximizing it or not. I, I don't know why. It just doesn't show them. Uh, or sorry, globe F, not command F. Um, command tab doesn't work very well. So if I have a you know, Safari open and I'm literally in the stage with say my note client or something else and I try to command tab to Safari, Safari will then open up on my iPad screen. Why does it open up on my iPad screen? It's literally in the four apps that I have on my screen and then it opens up in my iPad screen. That needs to be solved. Again, I've put some feedbacks in for some of these. These need to be solved. Now, overall, I really do like Stage Manager. I think it's a big step forward in iPadOS productivity. It has made me use my iPad again a lot more for a lot more different types of uh, work because I just can use it for so much more with these updates. I would like these bugs fixed if they delay iPadOS 16 like they're talking about so they get them fixed. That's totally fine with me. We need to do better. It needs to just work. Um, when Stage Manager comes out, I will do a full walkthrough of how to use it so that you can see it. But ultimately, I like Stage Manager. We need to get some bugs. We need to get some like fiddly work fixed. We need more keyboard commands. When an app is in a stage and I select, you know, open in Safari, it just needs to stay in there. Like it shouldn't come down to my iPad. That's annoying. But overall, two thumbs up for Stage Manager. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you have questions about Stage Manager, let me know below. If you want to support the channel, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, uh, curtismichael.ca slash education if you want to just take a course. Or if you look below, there'll be links to all my courses on Skillshare. Have an awesome day.